Hello folks, let's take a quick look at Abris. It's a physics-based puzzle game with the motto, Build to Destroy. And that's what you do. When you destroy the buildings, it crumbles in satisfying ways where you see each beam collapse. Rendering all this does take a toll, but when I went to the graphics option, I got a chuckle out of these settings. There are three settings. Newer PCs for higher end systems, older PCs, and then there's Potato. Good one, Abris. Anyway, back to the game. Here are the basics. Your goal is to build something to hit the red spheres or break their support and make them fall. To do that, you use a limited number of blocks and materials to build something. They vary from structural parts like beams and connector blocks, then there's the active parts like rotating motors, bombs, thrusters, and eventually cannons and lasers. Put on your thinking cap and construct something that will either fall over the red spheres or make a contraption that will fling your parts towards them and destroy the supports. The early levels are pretty static, where you build an unbalanced tower that will fall over its own weight. Later levels are more interesting. Here's one with both rotating blocks and thrusters. I needed to rotate the thrusters so they would launch my blocks into the air. Then when it reaches the perfect height, I would detonate the bomb to destroy the red spheres. The game keeps introducing new elements as well, such as zero gravity device and mirrors to reflect lasers. At the time of this recording, I finished up a half the campaign and it's been a fun challenge. If you get stuck, the menu can show you hints on how to build a solution and those hints are pretty thorough. You can see a full example of what to do or how to start at least. Along with the campaign is a small sandbox mode. I'm not that creative so the sandbox isn't really for me. I'd rather solve puzzles than make them. The sandbox mode lets you choose what to destroy and gives you an unlimited supply of materials to build with. Here's just me picking a random target and making a very simple cannon that doesn't even have any support. You can see when the cannon fires, it's going to recoil and fall over on itself. So if you enjoyed this aspect, then there's a little playground for you. And that's pretty much the game. A very simple premise with tons of creativity. It is fun for any puzzle enjoyers that would like watching things blow up. The only downside seems to be the length. You can see me scroll through the campaign levels and I already finished half of them in under one hour. I'm sure the later levels will be more complex and take more time. So there's your estimate on how long the game will take to beat. As of April 2022, the game is released for early access, so I'm sure more levels will be added in the future, along with quality of life changes from fan feedback. And that's my quick look at Abris. Thanks for watching, take care, TSO out.